Um, I used to read a lot as a child. I'm extremely short-sighted because of it, because I used to read by the uh, sort of ribbon of light that came under the closed door at night. And um, yeah, I just used to love it. And I used to think, oh, it'd be great, it'd be great that I could do this. Um, before I was writing, I was trying very hard to be a perfect Mormon wife and failing. And um, it was only when I, I went back to university and I sort of remembered all the things that I'd wanted to do and I started doing them and also left the church as well um, and uh, yeah that's what I was doing before I started to write. Um, on a typical day I'll take the children to school and then I go and see my grandmother and when she's finished with me I come home um, and I will write until it's time to pick the children up from school. Sometimes I write at a treadmill desk, which is like a sort of specially built desk that goes over um, a treadmill and it goes very, very slowly. Um, you can walk at like 0.4 miles per hour, so you're barely lifting your feet um, and you stand and, and type as you're walking. And uh, so I sometimes work there and if I've worked there all day, I feel very righteous at the end of the day because I feel like I've uh, done my exercising and I've done my writing at the same time. But sometimes when it's cold, I'll go work in the dining room instead because there's a fire in there. I really admire Carol Shields. I think she's amazing. Um, I read The Stone Diaries in 2009 and I got to the end of the first chapter and I just went back and read it again and I've never done that before. Um, I thought her descriptions of like the life of an ordinary woman in that book were incredible and it sort of really made me think that actually there were things I could write about. And when I reached the end of the book I thought I'm going to write to Carol Shields and I'm just going to tell her how amazing her book was and then of course I googled her and found out that she had died so that was really sad but I did then I read about her life and it was actually quite inspiring for me because she didn't have anything published until she was in her 30s and she had several children and, and I sort of felt a bit like, yeah, maybe I can do this too. So, At the moment I'm reading The Kept by James Scott. Um, I started reading it this morning on the train, I'm halfway through and I think it's brilliant. Um, we've got a bookshop in Southport called Broadhurst's and it's like something, it's almost like Dickensian, it's like it's got a funny little staircase and it's got an open fire and um, which they have on like all through the winter and when you buy books there they wrap them up in brown paper and string and they give them to you in like a little pile to take home, it's lovely. Mm -hmm.